Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have Renewal with Ten of Earth. So someone's uh, cleaning out the old, making way for new here, as well as wanting stability. It looks like someone's finally decided uh, about making things better and more able to happen in the 3D realm. We have Destiny in Divine Time with new patterns here. So uh, the universe is definitely at play in the situation. We have a new way of approaching things here. Overall energy, we have Queen of Cups. This is about our deep devotion to another here, as well as knowing who you love and who that cup belongs to. But it's also about assessing emotions here. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your energy this week. We have Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. So it looks like this week you are trying to uh, really have a good head about you, have a strategy here to get things done when it comes to work, and uh, you feel like you're really a, uh, kind of achieving things here that you really wanted to for a while. Uh, you're just getting like tedious work done as well. Uh, I do see in regards to your person, you know, this has been really difficult to kind of see uh, what their hidden motives are, if they're being truthful or honest, or if they just played around here. There's something suspicious that you've always thought about this person. Uh, Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, though, you almost feel like this was too good to be true or something that could have been so stable here and uh, really been long term. And this person kind of sabotaged it. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their energy. We have the Emperor, Queen of Swords, and the Moon card. So this person is wanting to really take control of the situation. They feel like they've matured in some way. They have some kind of reckoning uh, as well. Some knowledge they feel about uh, emotions or feelings towards you here. There's something special or unique they feel excited about. Uh, tell me this Moon card. Moon and the Sun card, yeah. And with the Queen of Swords here, they're realizing that, you know, we, both of you see things from two different perspectives here. And so how do we mesh that together? And how do I get you to see my point of view? Uh, there's also acknowledgement here that they played around in an immature way. So they're wanting to do it differently this time and really step up in the Emperor energy, which is, you know, all four of the Kings, uh, very mature, intelligent energy. Uh, really making things happen in the 3D realm. Okay, they realize too they've hurt you here uh, with the Queen of Swords that you're going to have kind of a wall up, uh, hard to get through to. So let's see what's gone on in the past here. We have Queen of, or I'm sorry, King of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Death card. Okay, tell me about this death card. Hanged man. Three of wands. Okay. So there's a lot of inconsistencies in this connection. It seems like there was a lot of half truth said here, as well as exaggerations or excuses here that you felt like this person uh, just kept throwing at you at a whim. And they almost made you feel like, you know almost felt bad for feeling the way that you did. So it's kind of a manipulation tactic here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Tell me about Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, almost making you question your own mind, your own thought process here. Uh, it really did a number on you sometimes. You were wanting uh, this emotional fulfillment, this connection here. You just wanted them to be honest, basically. 
And it feels like they played some mind games. They, you know, withheld emotion from you as well as, you know, telling you the truth on where they stood in this connection. So let's see what the challenge was here. I do see there could have been distance here or this person travels a lot for work. Uh, I do see you had to wait a while uh, on this person. We have Nine of Cups, Four of Swords, Lovers. Yeah, it was too good to be true here in the Nine of Nine of Cups. This was something where it was really hard to decipher if this person was really the person you think they are, okay? Really inside and out. Uh, there was no rhyme or reason. It's a, I see a lot of confusion here because if you try to talk to this person or, you know, really tell them how you were feeling, they would confuse the conversation and they would make you start thinking to yourself, am I really seeing things correctly? Am I thinking correctly here? Okay, in the Four of Swords, this person uh, procrastinated really doing the right thing in the situation as well as speaking up to you, okay? They needed to be honest. I see some things were held back. There's a lot of, uh, you know, truths that were not exposed here. Tell me about the Lover's card. Two of Wands. Yeah, a decision needed to be made in the situation. We have Judgments, Knight of Cups. And it's showing me this could be a third party, but I'm seeing for most of you, this is just in regards to emotions. Judgments, Knight of Cups. Were they truly devoted to you or not? Was Did they feel the same way towards you, Queen of Cups? Okay, and it was really hard to really understand what they were feeling because they didn't speak it. They never exposed anything about what was real about them, right? So there was no authenticity here. It seemed like a lot of surface level and just kind of playing a mind game, keeping you occupied, uh, trying to think of other things instead of really focusing on what the problem was or getting some answers here to your questions. Some of the Nine of Cups, Devil, King of Swords, yeah. This person uh, definitely had some codependent behaviors, so they had some issues, a lot of baggage they brought in from uh, circumstances in their life, and they really are harsh with how they control and how they play mind games here. Okay, they've always done that, it's not just with you, with other people, so... Uh, if it's not mind games, this person can be cold or just not care about your feelings and act as if it doesn't matter if you have feelings. You're kind of crazy about having feelings, okay? So let's see what action they're going to take here. We have Five of Swords, Tower, Nine of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. This is going to be completely unexpected. Okay, Tower. Uh, a lot of fears and doubts you've had with the situation. A lot of confusion. It's all going to be kind of exposed here. Okay, why you felt that way. As well as getting answers to your questions. But this person's coming in at Five of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Ready with a plan here to win at all costs. Okay, so... If this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here unexpectedly, what they're going to say to you when they come forward, as well as timing and outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.